My name is Roberto Pantoja and we are here with Beat Yerlitschka. Your second name is pretty hard to spell, yeah? It's hard. And people to remember say. me because they cannot say my surname. That's <laughs> Yeah, it's hard. And tell me, this is your first time here in Brazil? Yes, first time, but not only in Brazil, on the southern hemisphere, which is, you know, I'm pretty new here. I didn't see the whirlpool spinning yet, but it's the southern hemisphere and it's pretty exciting. And uh, are you enjoying your stay here? Yeah, it's great, and I really love the place. I, I really like uh, uh, Belo Horizonte, uh, I really like Sao Paulo, and I'm now enjoying uh, Brasilia, which is a very nice place, and I'm very happy to be in this hotel with <laughs> very nice <laughs> So facilities. this is your, your third city here in Brazil? Yes, yes. And uh, how long time do you stay here I'm in staying here total 10 days, and we were thinking, because I got invitation to two big conferences that actually I have to stay here for a little bit longer so I'm staying staying in the time between the two conferences and my schedule is completely packed with meetings and I think you know I, will, I could stay here another month and have completely full schedule just organizing Liberlanders. There's a lot of people yeah, talking about Liberlanders, that's yes. popular. Yes, so we've got 7,000 people that apply for citizenship so far and I think that I didn't check yesterday after the show that was aired but 7,000 applied before I came to uh, Brazil. Oh my god, a lot of people. Yeah. And who invited you here to Brazil? I was invited by the Leadership Institute and then the Students for Liberty of Brazil joined in. So the two big organizations, two big events. And how you start? And of course our representative office in Brazil that is doing a great job now and I'm very happy that I'm able to meet lots of politicians and diplomats in Brazil. So I'm very happy for Marcio Coimbra that, that was the right person to choose from uh, as our representative as he's doing an amazing job organizing people. You say like it's called South America, it's, uh, it's more, I don't know, maybe not more freedom, you don't have more freedom, but it's a country, I, I don't know, like a... Okay. It's more friendship with other countries. Exactly. That's, that's yeah, why you're here. You know, that's just interesting. Like Venezuela, for example, is generally very friendly to Liberland, despite the fact that the ideas, the ideology is not very similar. Uh, so you know, these countries are very usually very friendly to new countries springing up. And this is why we are here, because we feel we will find a lot of friends in, in the whole South America. That's amazing. And how you have this idea? How do you start with all this, with the Liberland? They started on 13th of April uh, last year. Oh so Liberland is just one and a half years old, basically, right now. And uh, it was a great opportunity because we found a place which was not occupied by any other country, between Croatia and Serbia. And it was a beautiful piece of land with nice sandy beach, seven square kilometers, not occupied by anybody basically abandoned for last 24 years. So we went in, we stuck the flag, Liberland flag, and uh, we occupied the territory and uh, we started the country, we received enormous response. We were thinking that maybe 20,000 people will show up and will help us, but it was more than 300,000 emails in just the first couple of weeks and it was amazing media coverage. So of course that was a great start for a new country. And why do you think this is it's so popular? Why Liberland is so popular? around the world? Because we are bringing liberty and uh, liberty is generally very popular with people. Sometimes, you know, people go kind of right way, they go against the liberty, they install some kind of authoritarian, uh, anti-free market regime and then, then of course gives a lot of problems to the society and also people feel that there is something new coming up, that there might be a new way how to organize society and that's why they support it and they want to be part of it. So do you think like the, the government, the public government, the state is kind of outdated? It is in a way, yes. We can say that, that the, the crazy idea that state actually takes more than what 50% of what people create, 40-50%, and then redistributes it back and then builds all these public programs. I think it's a pretty outdated idea and then everybody can see that it's not working. The more the state interferes in the economy, the worse are people. And sometimes we've got a couple of exceptions, but even those exceptions, they tend to degrade the over the time, and we can see how the civilization is declining when the state is too big. And we're going the exactly the opposite direction. We want to create as small state as possible. And you believe when you have more state, you have less individual freedom? Of course, that's, that's taking it's one ball. You cannot, you know, have 
a big state with big individual freedom. Now, if, if you have a big state like you have in North Korea, there is very little space for personal freedom. And when there is little space for personal freedom, there is very little prosperity and happiness in the society. So we are looking to places like Hong Kong, like Monaco, like Andorra, like Liechtenstein, for, uh, to be a good model for Liberal but we want to go even further. We want to really be the leader of the free world. And how you work the, the, the land? Will be like a, I don't know, like they have like a public land and you sell the land? No, we've actually you decided like to make a private fund out of the whole land in Liberland from very beginning. So it, it's going to be basically, uh, we, are, we are not going to have to privatize the land, but uh, the land will be for sale for all married holders. The people that have done something for the country, the land will be available to them with the currency that they are accumulating on their account. And they have like a national rules or they have like each property have their own rules? No, no, there will be one rule and I think it's good to have one rule on, on kind of well, same territory. But these merits that people are now accumulating, they are quite nice. They can also get the digital version. Anyway, they can help Liberland if they exchange, of course, their currency for merits, or if they provide their assistance or help, they get they get merits for, for moving Liberland forward. And uh, then the owners of this fund, the shareholders, will decide what they will do with the land, if they will sell it or rent it. And what do you think about uh, BitNation? BitNation is a friendly project. Uh, I don't think it's uh, like a serious try to start a new country. It is a very a virtual thing compared to that we are a, a based on, on a very well-defined territory, but we've got very many things in common uh, and in the way that we are using blockchain technology. Now, we are going to start to run our own blockchain notary probably in two weeks from now. Uh, our currency will be based on blockchain. Uh, we want to use the blockchain-based reputation management. Also, we want to have auction system based on blockchain. So there is a lots of things that, uh, you know, we are we want to do together, but we actually also want to go even further. Don't you think like uh, Liberland can be like uh, a physical territory for these internet freedoms? Like for, I don't know, physical territory for big nations? I think we can hold big nation, no problem with that. <laughs> Uh, I think that this is a great thing. You can have any kind of community in Liberland. State is not going to interfere with it. If you want to have communist community in Liberland, it's okay. You know, you can start your own kind of communist communa in, inside of Liberland, but we are not going to regulate that. But nobody will be able to take by force money from somebody else. So that's, that's very important. We are making sure that not even state can rob from its own people. And I think that, that that's the very important thing that the taxes in Liberland are on based on voluntary voluntarism. So how much you want to pay to the state, that's how much you pay, and you decide for which purpose do the money go. It's amazing. And what about the, for example, the United States now have some states. Mm -hmm. They have like it's very easy to start business. Uh, it's very easy to start business from abroad. Okay. Don't you think like a Liberland can be a place with I don't know for free trade? use the internet. Yes, definitely. This is why you know we've got so many internet companies interested in moving their servers inside of Liberland. This is why we are actually using now our boats to host servers that can already be based in Liberland with lots of solar panels. So that, this is something that we are working on and we, of course we see a huge potential in that. And do you believe in a real libertarian country like a only private service, no public service? Yes, we think that to 99% of what state now does should be actually done by private sector. And even with the police, we now have this mobile app. It's the e-residency of Liberland. And we want to have even Liberland police, you know, be based kind of on an Uber principle. So not only the paid policemen provide the security, but also people that, that, can, that have a reputation, very high reputation, and that they can provide the security. And not only in Liberland, it can be done anywhere in the world. So, you know, it allows people not only to provide taxi, not only to provide regular services, but also to provide protection for the others. So Let me show you. Do you think like Liberland... It's in, it's in beta testing now. And we've got, all, already, the, the we've got already 100 users worldwide, uh, but it's, it's just the beta testing, so you can see the Liberlanders all around the world. Just a second. This 
so many people in the world. <laughs> I start to use it. It's just no, it's just the alpha testing, and uh, I think it's going to be 10,000 maybe next week when we launch it fully. We're still fine tuning it so it doesn't crash, but we've got very good partner that programs it, and we are looking forward that it's going to be used by Liberlanders and, and Liberland e-residents all around the world. But don't you think like Liberland will become like a lab for freedom? Yes, we want to. We want to do that. We want to really have. Very good environment for making business, for making any kind of activity which doesn't harm other people. But maybe, you know, like for the future, for the future of our governments, like Liberland become like the first one, you know, to become like a, a beta test. Yeah, exactly. This kind of system. Exactly, this is what we want to do. We actually are testing all the latest technologies, how to run society, and we are very flexible. We can implement them right away when they're on the market, so that's why we are cooperating with market leaders in those areas and we are beta testers of the best way how to govern the society. Well, that's amazing. So now we finish an interview. Um, can you tell me how can I claim for a Liberland citizenship? It's very easy, just go to liberland.org and register there. It uh, takes five minutes and uh, you are on the way to get Liberland citizenship. Thank you so much for your time. Thank, Thank you very much. Great to meet you.